Hi guys, how is everyone doing today? Hopefully you're doing better than me. As you can hear from my voice, I'm I have a cold. I'm a little under the weather, but you know, I'm able to move around and stuff. And so Oh, please forgive me. But what I wanted to do was share with you guys my little DIY project. This is a bird cage I thrifted like last year sometime. And it's been in my living room and we have like these tall, we have two tall towers that hold movies and DVDs and, you know, knickknacks, whatever. They're like heavy wood. But anyway, everything in my living room is so dark. So I've been doing little things here and there to revamp and lighten it up. And um, I'm going to uh, redecorate some stuff in there. But before I start purchasing... Um, all the things I want I'm just gonna go ahead and revamp what I already have and just add to it and then I can kinda go from there as to what I want I already have a theme in mind but as far as the placement of my little knickknacks and other little stuff you know I need to revamp it first and then see how I wanna go from there so without further ado I'm just gonna go ahead and spray this cage white um, cause I've already sprayed some other stuff that I did not vlog I had this huge owl that I spray painted white it was gold I had another little owl that was kind of gold that I actually had sitting in this cage but I've already sprayed it white I think I sprayed it white last week and um, what else uh, a candle hole I sprayed white it used to be gold and kind of uh, what do you call this like um, the antique brown looking color so I'm gonna brighten things up I've already done those got out the way so I'm just going to share this with you. I'm going to go ahead and get it spray painted. And uh, by the time I'm done spraying it, I'll come back on and let you guys see. But I'm going to at least go ahead and get it started here. This is the bottom of the cage. And so I'm going to spray the bottom half first. And then I'll flip it over and spray the, the top half of it. And as you know, you do the back and forth motion. That way your paint doesn't get all uh, jumbled up and all messy on top of each other. This is an old can. I'm about to run out of paint on this one. But I wanted to go ahead and use it first on here. And as you can see, let me change the can. I'm running out. But as you can see, it's starting to take form already. I did not get a paint mask. Y'all, this is a bonus. Y'all don't even know. I don't come out on this deck unless I need to sweep <laughs> the leaves of pine straw because we, we're right up under a pine tree. Or, um, I gotta be careful on this side. This paint's starting to stack up over there. Let me try to I'm come back to that and I'm just gonna hold on spraying on this so you guys can see. I got two cans of spray paint and I think two cans should be able to cover this entire bird cage here. I'm gonna spray the chain as well.
And as you can see, I just take my time spraying a little bit at a time. And then I'll go back over and coat it. That way it's all nice and even. And I'll make sure I take a picture as well after I hang it. I thrifted this uh, birdcage. I think it only cost me $5 for this birdcage. I know Paul thought I was crazy when I was in a thrift store. I'm like, I'm buying this birdcage. He's like, we don't have a bird, and we don't. I said, I want to put an owl in it because I like owls. Owls are mystic. I can't even talk, y'all. I'm so jumping up with this cold. Mystical, let's put it that way. Owls are mystical, and so I like owls. And uh, so I'm just going to put the owl in, and you guys will see it. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and get this finished painted, and then I'll let you see it at the end, and then I'll let you see it when I hang it. Okay, guys? Okay, guys, I just want to jump on real quick again and show you I am almost out of spray paint, but you can see it starting to uh, take its form here as far as the color and the look. I'm definitely going to need about two more cans, so I had to. So four and all, if you have a bird cage or something this large, uh, you're probably going to need four because I did not anticipate this wood that this thing is made out of it is just sucking up the paint so I'm going to need two more cans so I have to make a run to get two more cans and then when I get that I'll come back on and you'll see the finished results thanks for watching guys just hang on real tight and I'll be right back okay guys here is the finished DIY and I have it hanging from my ceiling and of course there's the big owl that I told you I previously revamped as well as the candle holder it's sitting on that I got years ago from Home Goods and inside the TV tower there or should I say entertainment tower it's just a vase that I um, thrifted a few months back I don't even know no, it's been quite some time and uh, yeah so um, that's the next thing that I'm going to revamp I'm going to change the color of that table not sure if I'm going to do silver or white but there it is and there's Mr. Owl let's see if I can open it for you so you can see him peekabooing inside there he is okay um I'm thinking I'm going to be on the lookout maybe thrifting lookout um, for uh, something for him to sit higher on so you can see him like maybe in that area up there the open area versus the door because the door is kind of obstructing the view of him somewhat but you know Paul 63 well actually he's 64 but he could see it good I can't I'm only 56 but <laughs> but yeah and that lamp behind there I'm thinking I want to do it in silver I don't know y'all I don't know what I want to do I don't know if I want to do that lamp in white or silver I'll keep you posted. Well, I won't say I'll keep you posted because I don't want you waiting and <laughs> messaging me talking about you waiting on this DIY, honey. I, I'm at a turtle space when it comes to DIY. I'm surprised I even got this on video for you guys to see. But yeah, I mean, as you can see, I've already previously sprayed those because, well, the vase I got was already white, but that owl and the candle holder was a brownish, goldish kind of color and it had the color of that table that was inside of it and it had some situations going on with colors but yeah that's Mr. L so hopefully you guys like that quick little DIY and I'm gonna try and do better next time if I DIY something to try and share it with you guys and as always thanks for watching if you like this video please hit that like button you know thumb it up 
and um, subscribe if you haven't. Thanks for watching guys. Bye.